And we made this intentional um, decision a couple years back to move away from our previous mantra, which was called BIM Enabled Workforce, and move into this new era called Integrated Virtual Builders. With Revisto, every model in our project lives in there. No one goes any, to any other source to view our model content besides for Revisto. One of the biggest things as a superintendent is making sure that you're not having to go back and rework certain areas because you didn't get something in prior to it getting covered up. Being able to talk to that in a 3D environment just drastically increases someone's ability to follow along. So having Revisto now has really been a blessing because everyone finds it super easy to use. It's really crisp looking and it does carry a lot more information than the platforms we used prior. There's been a huge uptick in uh, cross-discipline uh, communication. So either with the trade to design, design to McCarthy or McCarthy to trade. The big thing here is that if someone finds an issue, it's let's resolve this together and then let's also inform these three other people that this is an issue in case they might have a solution. Our initiative is to create virtual builders, not just within the VDC team, but also within operations who really see the value in maintaining this virtual space because they know it's going to help them in the real world. Having something like Revisto available allows us to hold people more accountable. And with technology being as advanced as it is now and as portable as it is now, it's a lot easier for you know, the general contractor to do checks and balances to make sure we are moving forward the way it was intended based on the design. I think the communication within Revisto works great with the issues and the issue tracker. I think it saves a lot of emails and a lot of back and forth. It takes you right to the problem. I could just pull it up, the guys, I could fly them where they needed to go or I could take them where they needed to go and we could just look at it. It was all right there. We use Revisto because we save so much time identifying and resolving clashes early on before even the design is complete. You spend 10 times the amount you would fixing it after the fact than you would catching it early. The problem we run into is when um, you have a clash, who owns it and who's taking care of it and where is it at in the process of taking care of that clash. So this communication is, is really the pain point. So what that defaults to is emails and phone calls and stuff like that. That just, you get inundated with this, with this stuff all the time. And it's hard to organize and keep track of who's doing what and when. Within Revisto, it's, it's a lot more open communication. and uh, I think it really opens up the communication between the subcontractors. If I'm running a coordination meeting and I have one of the managers that wants me to show them and the group, like, what have we covered in the past week? Visto allows us to be able to use the dashboarding features and reports that we built to show what we've solved and what we have in progress. It just makes it much easier for the VDC manager on a job to dish out stuff and filter for things inside of meetings. The sooner you can find an issue, the easier it is to resolve. So finding this stuff now is really beneficial for everyone in the project. Not just the construction team, not just McCarthy, right? It's, it's a team approach. So by shifting that design a little bit now, helps the designer as well, helps the trade partners all the way down to, to finite construction. We don't think technology is going away. Like it's only going to become more integrated with what we do every day. By the end of this project, every single person at every single level will be using Revisto. Really, at the end of the day, to do what the Integrated Virtual Builder Initiative for us is meant to do, which is build virtually before you build physically.